this is downtown Albuquerque and Central Avenue between the 5th and the 6th Street in the northwest part of the city. This is basically a Native American area of the United States, which is New Mexico. Central Avenue is part of Route 66, the main street of America, which stretches from Chicago to Los Angeles. And Route 66 passes through Albuquerque as Central Avenue. Rock music, music, festivities, and films have been made and written and sung about Route 66. So we are actually standing on Route 66. Tuesday, 2nd of May, second day in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We are about possibly 15 kilometers outside downtown. This part of Albuquerque is called the Old Town. A myriad of courtyards, cobblestone galleries, all in the best tradition of contemporary Indian, Western, Spanish and Mexican tradition. This area is the heart of Albuquerque heritage. The first dwellers of this area were pit house dwellers around 500 AD. And they converged here at what was the, at the first inhabitants of Albuquerque. As you said, in 500 AD. And in 1706, the first church of San Philippe in Mary was built on the west side of the plaza. And it's only in 1793 that it now has its present location on the north side. So this is the entrance into what is commonly called the Old Town. And west of this is the Rio Grande River, which runs into New Mexico, separating El Paso from Mexico territory, as we say it near the old town, and here at the plaza, because of a myriad of good hands, and the cobblestones, galleries, shops, and restaurants, a blend of traditional and contemporary Indian, that's Native American, Western, Spanish, and Mexican. Indian 
jewelry prefer to call it Native American as the terminology is more proper we are in the center of the plaza certainly in this part of the world are very very quiet host myriad of craft shops, Mexican, Western, Spanish that is, Mexican, Native American. And this is the site of the skirmish of 1862, where the forces of the Confederates resisted that of the Union in an attempt to capture Albuquerque. And on the north wing is the church of San Felipe de Neri. This is the site, this is the original church, oldest in southwest United States, established in 1706. San Felipe de Neri. For the Spanish. part of the Archdiocesan of Santa Fe. And Santa Fe is the capital of New Mexico, about a one and a half hour drive north of Albuquerque. Needless to say, it is a Catholic church. San Philip inscription here says San Philip de Neri, oldest church in Albuquerque, has continuously served the community without interruption since 1706. Originally founded and served by the Franciscan friars, this parish church has been served successfully by the secular clergy of Durango, Mexico, 1877. The Jesuit Fathers and Brothers in 1868 and since 66 has been administered by the secular clergy of the Archdiocese of Santa Fe. Well, there is a mess. There's no way to work. So there's a church service taking place. Well, Let's go in. What the people see the school message has been completed. Children of San Felipe Parish. This mass is held twice a month, but it was a reflection and certainly a spiritual experience to share the latter part of the service. Established 
or the Declaration of Independence. Whilst this part of the world, New Mexico, so it stands now, as under the road of Spain, later Mexico. Facing south into the plaza, the old town. North to the courtyard of the church is this magnificent, beautiful carving in a tree of Our Lady. Coming was done by one of the petitioners in 1963. There's a devotion to Our Lady. It looks beautiful. Really magnificent piece of art. This is in the north part of the church premises. Typical architecture. Spanish. And back to the courtyard and turn the to the museum. Well in the old town. This is incredible. The old town. In a typical Spanish architecture. We have here one of the art galleries. Kim's Gallery in the old town. Shops to sell Native American jewelry. Most of these art gallery shops don't allow photography within, as you can understand because it's copyright to the works of art which are being sold in this gallery. San Philippe de Neri, the foreground. It's 
Spanish typical hacienda architecture. In the heart of old town of Bukluki. Still within the old town is the old Bukluk Museum. Descend to the entrance. This is famous sculpture by Lincoln Fortz that was commissioned in 1989. It depicts the shepherd with his hair blown by the wind carrying the ship, an eel, and believe me at the back is carrying a lamb. This sculpture commemorates all heritage of the people of Albuquerque, Native American, Mexican, Spanish, Western. Black American. It's the type of coloration used on this bronze, depicting the ability of a shepherd. When you approach the back of the stage sculpture, you can see this gentle shepherd carrying on his back. A lamb, symbol of humility, symbol of all the heritages of the people of New Mexico. Under the backdrop of the old town. There is a good shepherd. And then the eastern face of the museum. main entrance in the south to the park descent and the parking entrance would be for this end of Native American artistry, heritage, in progress until August the 6th, Taos artists, all depicted in commemoration of the heritage. Spanish, Mexican, European, century, African American, Native American. And certainly, this is a heritage of the real heart and spirit of a Native American. After a very stimulating visit to the Albuquerque Museum, an opportunity avails itself now to visit adjacent 
New Mexico Museum of Natural History. And all those facilities are free to the public. Wealth of heritage information to beneficiaries, benefactors, corporate world, and the general public in Patina. The main entrance is on the east wing. There's Tarnasaras Rex, the museum sits behind the backdrop of Sandia, famous mountains. Peaks of 10 to 11,000 feet above sea level. And you recall the highest peak in southern Africa is Tabaran Kenyana, which is a shade above 11,000 feet. So basically, that's the height of our highest peak on the Bergs, the Sudo side, of course, in southern Africa. There's it dwarfs over picture from the past. This is the interior of the museum. We we'll go in and have a look. Back at the center of the plaza of this old town with all the marvelous and exotic heritage preserved and there we see the site of the skirmish of Albuquerque which took place on April the 8th to the 9th in 1862 between the first skirmish of Albuquerque April the 8th to the 9th 1862 while Confederate Brigadier General H. H. Shelley was assembling the bulk of his army at Santa Fe, Union Colonel E. Lee Candy mounted 1,200 men from Fort Craig to occupy Albuquerque. It can be done without serious loss. Though so outnumbered, 6 to 1, a small detachment of Confederates under Captain William Hardman repulsed attack and maintained possession of the town. And this is the commemoration by the sons of the Confederate veterans. It is a set part of the history of New Mexico, given the fact that New Mexico was initially part of Spain, succeeded to the Mexican Republic, which after a war with the United States, negotiated for the purchase of Mexico, New Mexico, which became the state of the Union in 1912. Having a look at this La Placinta, La Placinta is one of the oldest homes that was established in 1706 in Albuquerque. And it's here that the barracks of Don Ambriosi, Anijo Hacienda, was first established. now an art gallery as well as serving as a restaurant. As I said, it was initially known as Casa de Ramenjo, 
built in 1706 and occupied for many generations by the Amija family who are prominent in local history. During the turmoil of the early settlement, the Mexican, Spanish and American Civil War occupation, it was used as a fort and as a refugee place and later was occupied by the Amija family and portions of which were used as an early trading post. The placenta was later remodeled in its present condition but still maintaining its old conformity. One of the oldest homes has retained its character in its heritage. And of course, as you see here on the pavement, uh, jewelry, Native American jewelry being sold. A common phenomenon of heritage is stored against the backdrop of Placenta, the placenta, the shadows of the Sandia Mountains behind. <coughs> we bid farewell to the old town. Beautiful morning of enchantment here at the plaza. We are here in the park, the Rio Grande River Park, and in front of us is the mighty Rio Grande River. Third longest river in the United States, after Missouri and the Mississippi. Its source being in the Rocky Mountains, in the state of Colorado. The river thunders down past east of Denver, down Colorado Springs, in the bosom of the Grand Canyon, centers down into New Mexico, west of Santa Fe, and passes through Albuquerque. And the bridge we see here is the famous road U.S. Route 66, called the Main Highway of America, extending from Chicago, 1,793 miles away, west to Los Angeles, about 941 miles, and whilst it's in within Albuquerque, Route 66 is referred to as the Central Avenue. And yonder, what you see are the mountains of Sandia. And Sandia Mountains have the highest peak in that region at 10,400 feet. Almost the same height as Taba Mkanyana, which is the highest peak in Southern Africa. On the birds, but on the city side, on the boundary, so that is certainly a mighty lofty range of mountain there, the Sandia. So Route 66 is Central Avenue, heads into downtown east, eventually 
all the way to Chicago, 1,800 miles away. The Rocky Mountains. Crossing under route 66. That's west to Los Angeles. Behind me, east to Chicago. The Rio Grande makes its way down south between Texas and Mexico into the Gulf of Mexico. And back to undercarriage of route 66. That's the main entrance into the Rio Grande Valley State Park. Mexican town with a strong Hispanic Spanish influence. Obvious given the history of previous Spanish rule here. And there are those beautiful Sandinia mountains. Situated in the corner of the 8th Street. The Ramada Inn. The corner of 8th Street and Central Avenue. Just on the northwest of downtown, adjacent to Central Avenue, the same road that continues as Route 66. that famous highway of America
tomorrow. I leave for Phoenix, Arizona in preparation for my trip to London Gatwick, departing in the evening from Arizona, Phoenix, from the balcony of my motel room. Yamada in the corner of 8th and Central Avenue.